This has been my miter saw station for two years and I really don't like it. So today I'm building a new one out of plywood with storage. Keep watching and you might learn some tips and tricks about building cabinets. I've designed this, uh, the bottom half, the base cabinets of this miter saw station in SketchUp. The width across the board is 95.75 inches, so just under eight feet. And the reason of that is because I can use one sheet of four by eight plywood to cover the platforms at the top. And the height is 34 inches. <clears throat> that's not counting the the top that's gonna go on there once I put this all on and then the width and the depth of this is 23 inches so these are square panels and these four base uh, bottom panels can be cut with uh, on just a 4x4 sheet of plywood and the side panels can be done with uh, four of them can be cut from one sheet of 4x8 with some spare and then another one can be cut from a, another one that's from the 4x8, a 4x4 here. So essentially everything here can be cut with uh, two sheets of 4x8 plywood and I have some to spare too. And these are stretchers that are three inches wide. All right. That's how it looks. Oh, and here's a three inch of toe kick that's gonna be on the saw or on the panel. All right, let's uh, jump into building. All right, we're building this first, or cutting this first, 34 by 23. So I'm gonna use my wind track saw to break down the plywood. This is the 34 inches side, so I'm making one 34 inches cut that way it can be universal and I'll have to measure five times and I'll cut the remaining piece into 23 inches uh, this way so and cutting it like this will ensure I have five side panels that are all 34 inches in height and that'll be a very good start to keep the cabinets uh, true and square And here comes the fifth piece that I need to cut on a brand new sheet of plywood. So this one requires a lot of fine measurements. So a way to do this is to cut it oversized a little bit and then slowly trim it down to the correct size uh, in relation to the other uh, panels. And now I'm cutting the, the bottom pieces. So I make two cuts of uh, 23 and then out of those I use my table saw to trim it down to 23 and then I just trim every edges down to 23 on my table saw to ensure that you know they're they're truly square with each other And next are the stretchers. I'm gonna be making, I think, 12 stretchers in total. So I'm just gonna cut it with the, the spares or the offcut from the, pa the panels. And here I kept the fence at 23 inches and made a very sketchy jig to, uh, to create a stop block on my crosscut sled to cut all the stretchers down to 23 inches. And here I'm marking the toe kick for the side panels. 
there are three inches by three inches and I'm just gonna cut it with the jigsaw the speed square After I'm done with cutting, I use my pocket hole jig from Craig to uh, to drill pocket holes into the side panels or, or the bottom panels and the stretchers to connect them. Unfortunately, my camera shut off when I was assembling the base cabinets and I realized that when I finished assembling the base cabinets, so there's no getting it back. I apologize for that. Now let's pick it back up from after the assembly and I'm working on the first top and then the platform on top of it for the miter saw. All right, so the next step is to cut the top, the first top that's gonna go on top of this, uh, on top of the carcass. Now, this is 23 inches and the top, I think I'm gonna cut to 25 inches in width because Got a couple cables that need to make room for um, to cover so that if it's 25 inches, I can cover this gap and then not have things falling down to the ground. Yep. And now it's time to put on the first top. Uh, as always, I'm cutting it down with my track saw. Uh, just make one cut and I'll use the the offcut for something else, maybe drawers or other stuff. And I use my jigsaw to cut out the cutout for the cables to, to go through. And after everything is lined up, I drill some holes and connected the two pieces from the stretchers from the bottom. everything right now so the idea is I'm gonna build a top uh, platform on top of this to create the, the the bench top that's flush with the with the floor of the miter saw and ideally I'm gonna build it just a little higher than than this so that I can shim up the miter saw uh, because if I if a measurement went wrong and the platform end up being lower. There's no way of fixing that, except you know, unless I build it all together uh, again. So, if I build this just a little bit higher, I can fine tune the height and get it to be perfect flush with the miter saw. I'm putting back my little Dewalt uh, shop vac for the miter saw. It's not very powerful. And here I'm drilling the hole for the hose to come through. Yeah, so it's about, it's about that high. This is what, three, a bit more than three and a half inches. So let's just say I'm gonna make the platform to four inches. So the support piece will be three and a quarter because the uh, plywood is three quarter. So you cut three and a quarter wide strips 
um, to put down here. Back to more cutting. This is the three and a quarter inch side pieces to support the top shelf. And as usual, they're done with pocket holes. And here I'm making a mark to make room for the miter saw when it swivels around at angles. And for the two smaller drawers, I'm using 14 inches slides and they're shimmed up with a quarter inch plywood, just an off cut. I'm and then I'm using some playing cards as shims for the actual drawers so they can be elevated from the floor just a little bit. And then put in the slides and then screw it in. I'm not gonna cover the process of making drawers uh, just because there's only like a couple of ones in, in this video. The next video is gonna have uh, a lot more detail about building drawers and doors and trays and that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that, uh, make sure you watch the next part after you finish this part. The longer drawers are 22 inches slides and I'm using an eighth inch plywood or a quarter inch plywood to uh, to shim it up because for this ones I built the drawers just a little bit more shallow or shallower than uh, the first couple of ones so I can afford to leave a slightly bigger gap uh, to the to the floor Here I'm putting on the top and then making a mark of how I need to cut it out and then just use my track saw to make the cut. And then I mark a couple of spots to set my screws and then drill and countersink and then secure the top to the whole bench. And now it's time to shim up the miter saw. Again, playing cards is coming in really handy here, uh, just so that I can put the cards down at the bottom of the of the miter saw, and then they can be shimmed up. And I have very very fine adjustments of how smooth I want it to be. Here's my first cut on the new Microsoft station. Forgot what it's for. Oh right, this is the uh, front for the one of the drawers. Again, I'm using some paint playing cards to shim it up, and then I used a Craig uh, drawer handle guide. It's it's really nice to to have something like that. Again, uh, I'll explain this process a lot more detail de in detail uh, in the next video. This video is more about like building the whole structure and whatnot. So here I'm routing out a groove for my T-tracks to be on the left side of the miter saw. And it's raining outside so my cats are sharing the garage with me and they like to distract me.
And if you look closely, I made a mistake there and the router bit got away from me a little bit. And then I put down the tape measure, just to be exact. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Uh, when I'm routing, when I was routing the T-Track, the router just came back, uh, came out from me a little bit, got away from me a little bit, and left this kind of a funny dent. Well, it's not too bad though, but I gotta get to, I get, I get to look at it every time I cut something. <laughs> Alright, that took a lot of time, but I think it came out okay. I'm finished with the top side with the T-Track and the drawers. And in the next video, I'm going to be keep building up the bottom side of the drawers and some pull-up trays, as well as the doors. Uh, and stay tuned for that video to drop. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.